Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I decided to come out here in the backyard and film something. And this was actually a request by a very special friend. You know who you are. Um, so before we get started, I've already put on my base. So I have my, my foundation on and I use my Dior um, Forever Skin Glow. And I've also already done my eyebrows because I didn't really want to mess with them out here. <laughs> but anyways, I, I really wanted to do this video because, well, I just love being outside and I'm visiting my parents right now. That's why I'm able to film outside and like, you know, somewhere private. And yeah, I just want you guys to enjoy the nature and, uh, the makeup isn't so important this time, but you know, I have no idea what I'm doing by the way. So we'll see what happens. So to start off, I have my mirror over here that I'm gonna be using. So I'll be looking over to the side, but um, I'm just gonna put on some concealer. This concealer looks super white right now because um, I've been out in the sun and I've gotten really tan. So my foundation is actually a little light for me too. But it's okay, I'm gonna be using a lot of bronzer later, so it should be okay. It should work itself out. <laughs> but yeah, just as usual, just applying concealer under my eyes, a little bit on my forehead, um, on my chin, and around my nose area. So I'm pretty much just putting it in all of the places where I either have like discoloration or like redness. And I'm just using my beauty blender to blend everything out. Today is such a nice day outside. You might be able to hear like chickens every now and then because the neighbors have chickens like all the way back there. And then on this side, um, <laughs> there are baby goats and regular goats too, but like the baby goats are so adorable. I wanted to play like some light music in the background for you guys, but I thought I don't want to take away from like the nature sounds. You guys can do that on your own if you would like. <laughs> so let's see, before I powder my face, I'm actually going to go in with a cream blush and I'm just using my Fenty cream blush in the color Drama Class. And I'm just gonna use my fingers to do this. And I'm actually just looking at the camera and doing it on camera. Although actually I just realized that it, it has a mirror inside. And for anyone wondering why I'm doing this before I powder, it's because I only have cream products on my face right now. Um, you could put this on top of powder. This is this product specifically is actually like fine for that. But generally speaking, you want to put cream products on before you put on any of your powder products. And I'll add something else on top of this blush later that's a powder as well. I like layering my blushes. <laughs> Mostly because I love a lot of blush, because naturally, I'm always red. <laughs> you could probably hear the chickens. I hear them right now. I'm putting a little bit down my nose. Alrighty, so now I'm actually gonna move to my Charlotte Tilbury um, Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. Just gonna set my under eyes, my forehead. I'm 
right in between my eyebrows. I've also moisturized my lips. I put on a lip balm earlier on. Okay, now I'm going to move to bronzer and my favorite bronzer, which unfortunately you can't buy anymore. So I would say use whatever bronzer you have. It's by Too Faced and it's called the Pink Leopard Blushing Bronzer. So this bronzer is a bit shimmery and it has um, almost like, I mean, I guess it's called a blushing bronzer for a reason. It gives you a really nice glow. It's like a glowy bronzer. And I'm just using a fluffy angled brush to put this on. Always get under your chin. And of course, don't forget your forehead. My forehead is actually super tan under my foundation, so <laughs> I'm going to try to get the color back if I can. <laughs> oh, the breeze is so nice right now. I also love to put my bronzer over my nose because it gives you like a out in the sun type of look. Alrighty, that's what we have right now. So what I'm actually gonna do, since I wanna keep this pretty simple, um, I'm gonna go in into the same bronzer and I'm just gonna go in with a fluffy brush. And this is a fluffy eye brush, eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to just go into my crease with this. I haven't filmed in so long. It's kind of weird for me to film now, but I really, I really want to get back into it because it's actually really fun. All right, so there's that. And I think that's all I'm going to put on for eyeshadow today because I do want to keep this kind of light. This is kind of like another tutorial I've done before. Um, but the difference today is that I am going to do some eyeliner. And for my eyeliner, I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Classic Eye Powder Pencil. I don't know what color this is, um, but it's like a, it's a really dark brown. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply it a little heavier on my outer corner um, and super thin coming back in and then I'm just gonna smudge it out and I'm gonna create like a wing. This is what I have so far. So this isn't like done yet, obviously. <laughs> Oop, where did I put the cap? Okay. So I'm gonna take my little tiny baby smudging brush and I'm gonna go ahead and just smudge it out. And I'm creating a wing as I smudge it out. So 
So that is what I have. I just want to make sure that both sides are looking equal. This is a super easy way to create a wing without messing with... Ooh, what is that noise? That sounds kind of scary. I don't know if that's a bug or some kind of animal. But if something happens to me right now, it's been great, you guys. <laughs> okay, it's gone. Anyways, like I was saying, um, I love using um, eye pencils, like eyeliner pencils or eyeshadow for my like wings because it makes life so much easier when you're not messing up your wings using liquid. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be using my Bobbi Brown um, cream eyeshadow stick in the color golden pink. And it's more of a just like a like a light gold color more like a white gold it's not very like yellow but i'm actually just going to use this for my inner corner and just right under like my eye on my inner corner as well and i'm gonna lightly tap it out Ooh, the sun is Hitting me with this. <laughs> I love the effect that this has when you have like the shimmery color right on your inner corner and underneath running along the bottom lash line. Well, the inner bottom lash line, if that makes sense. Okay. And then let's see. I'm going to take. So I'm gonna take my Huda Beauty Mauve Obsessions palette, but the only color I'm gonna be using is this super like light one. And I'm just gonna be using this um, just for my brow bone a little bit. And it's a matte color, so it's not shimmery yet, but I just wanna highlight my brow bone a bit with that. trying to think oh there it is <laughs> I wanted to take my just my blending brush one more time kind of make sure everything's blended okay now what shall I use next so I'm pretty much done with my eyes actually I'm just gonna go in with my what is this? L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. This is my favorite mascara. It's been my favorite mascara for a while now. Um, okay. Okay, there's the mascara. I didn't want to go too overboard with it. A bit on the bottom lash line. Just kind of even everything out. A lot of times I don't want to put <laughs> mascara on my bottom lash line, but it's like I don't really have a choice because it automatically, like, transfers to my bottom lashes as I'm putting it on my upper lashes but whatever it is what it is and then I'm just taking my Anastasia clear brow gel and I'm just gonna set my brows in place okay so that's the eyes 
Now I'm just gonna add a little bit of color to my face and I'm using my, oof, I'm getting blinded by all of these, like with the sunlight. So I'm using my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in the color Mood Light. And it's like the pinky purpley one. And I'm just gonna go over my blush a bit. Over my nose, of course. We all know. She loves her blush. <laughs> just a little on the chin, a little on the forehead, you know, just to even everything out. And that is the face. Now, for my lips, what do I want? Hmm. Well, first things first, I'm gonna wipe off some of that concealer and foundation that got on my lips earlier. Okay. Mm. I think I'll do this. I'll do the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lipstick and I can't remember what this version of this lipstick is called but it's a super like moisturizing like glossy one so I'll put this on this is like my favorite everyday lipstick it's so good mm. tap it out just a bit I don't like um, harsh edges on my lips. That is, unless I'm wearing red lipstick. Red lipstick is definitely the exception. You need to have like a clean line on a red lip. But for this, it's good. Okay, and then I guess I have a couple of lip glosses that I've been wanting to use on camera. This is one of them. This is the new Pat McGrath. Um, gloss and divine rose it's so pretty actually you know what i'm gonna use that now this is my first pat mcgrath lip gloss i also got her divine rose 2 um palette which i plan on using soon in a tutorial so hopefully that's to come i don't know i can't promise anything it just depends <laughs> but this lip gloss is really pretty I mean, it's a pretty basic rosy lip gloss, but I like the texture. It's super glossy. Like, it makes your lips look so luscious. Okay. So that is pretty much the finished look. I don't think I'm gonna add anything else. I don't have my setting spray um, with me right now because I am traveling, so this is gonna have to do, but the concealer is pretty dewy and then my foundation is pretty dewy, so I don't really need like a setting spray right now. <sighs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Ooh, I heard something in the tree above. <laughs> I think it was a squirrel. I'm not sure. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys really like this video. Um, I just love being outside. It's so relaxing and it just, I don't know. It kind of takes your mind off of everything that's going on right now. But yeah, I hope you guys like this look. I hope you guys enjoyed the nature sounds. Maybe you did, maybe you didn't. You know, I know there's a lot of chickens in the background. <laughs> but anyways, um, I'm gonna get going. And I hope to film again very soon. I have a couple of ideas in mind, but we'll see how that goes. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.